Hi, this is Subhat and you are watching Fauna Fairy Today we are going to cover how Angular works, how the flow will start and how it will end and how you should, what you should keep in mind while you develop I think. So you can see there are a lot of files here. The main focus of us is inside the uh, source folder and uh, the app uh, it got created for us. So by default Angular we created a single app for us so for every single page application uh, having index.html or index.js and thing so you have it has a app root uh, it's, it's called a selector so if you go to the app component.ts it has a selector called app root okay and it has our uh, app name which uh, uh, we created in the previous video so in angular the application need to have a single ng module at least and it need to be bootstrap a single component uh, so that it will be bootstrap and it will be run in the starting of the application so as you can see here ng mod there is a ng module angular created for us and it's bootstrapping the app component which is also get created so you can go so we can go inside that and you can see that this uh, this dark, the component is got created for us it's got bootstrap there and it's got also declared in the declaration part of the uh, in, in, in ng module so in the ng module the declaration is kind of all your component you created or uh, somebody create and you're using their component here the direct component you can declare you need to declare it in your uh, declaration part if you're creating a component through your angular shell it will automatically add it here but if you want to do it manually you can do it and the import is the imports are the browser module form module if you are okay, using a router so if you if you are using some third-party apps if you are using angular material so mainly the uh, which modules you need to import to your system you need to application need that you need to import here and provider are the service providers which you can add it here and there is another component called entry comp component which is not created by default but you can you need to you need you need to do that when when you need to have a dynamic component allocation or uh, you you want to create uh, you want to show the component dynamically according to the condition so the other component annotation has three things selector template and style url sorry template url and style url you can also give a template you can add instead of a path you can add direct html here like this you can copy paste and you can add it here also but it's preferred to go with the url part so that all the html of yours will be separate all the ts will be separate it will be when the application get bigger and bigger it will be very easier to maintain and all so selector is the uh is, the, is the, like a name of for a component so uh, as you can see if you go to the index.html it uh, write app root here so this selector will uh, go here and check that yeah this is there so what it will do whatever the template url has it will render that thing to your selector place that means it will go here and enter everything here so all the html whatever written here is get rendered in this place so if you can go here now so you can see that uh, uh, everything is get rendered here so so this is the welcome to title so this is the title is replaced with fun app i will i'll explain this later so you can see here's come so you can see that here come here are some links to help you start so everything whichever things are there in the app uh, app root selector contain uh, your app component it get replaced here so uh, now 
the time what is the how that this uh, title becomes a FNAP so in angular there are data binding options there are two way binding and one way binding so this is the one way binding so this is uh, so if you can say here we have created a instance variable you can say for the class and which will uh, and which we are we, we are using it here so suppose if you want to check that this is working or not you can go here and you can check with this and you can hit command as though it will done it now uh, you can see that this got changed this is one way binding so whatever you are changing it changing here it will get reflected on the html file or your browser so there are two way binding also so in, in two-way binding, whatever you can change in the HTML, that also can be accessed in the TS. So uh, we'll cover that in the later videos. This is all about the how application work. And now you can see how the Angular Corvette got imported and how it got installed. So you can check here. If you go to the package.json, while in the previous video, while we installed the system, while, you, while, while starting the application, it it takes some time to install i told i download everything to install stored in the node module so what it does is what npm does is it will download all the dependencies here and the dev dependencies and and put that in store in the node module you can see that you can scroll a lot of things are there i'm not going to show you everything now so here we have a at the right angular so if you can go here, here, here you have a core part. So here the component is imported from Angular and core. So if you can go here, uh, long lines. Okay, so it's here Angular and core. It has a component in it. Okay. This how all, all all the things you want, uh, it, it, it it will use and import from the node node module. Just if you want. To have your something new package something new dependency you can add it here directly or you can use the npm um, to add it to new package.json we'll we'll cover with all this in the future videos so thank you guys you watched where angular got started and how the execution flow is and what is component and what is how what is the need of um, ng module and how declaration and bootstrapping the component thanks we'll meet in the next video <laughs>